Well, um, at the time, I think I was about uh, 17 or 18, living in Toronto, had a car. Uh, my idea of moving to Niagara Lake, not so strong. Uh, I had never heard of Niagara on the Lake and uh, was kind of enjoying life exactly where I was. So I moved under protest. Um, so it was a different place. Uh, the budget was virtually nothing from a municipal standpoint. Um, elections were held every year. Uh, people, 99% of people had family parties. So it was in people's homes, not out. Uh, certainly that world has really changed. And uh, But it was everybody knew everybody. And I came from Toronto and... Uh, I must say, I'm not sure I even knew my neighbors by the last time I was in Toronto. And yet if I missed a day, uh, say some weekend I stayed up at Mac because I had a project or something I had to get done, people would phone my parents to see if I was ill or anything because they hadn't seen me driving around town. Well, that felt good. It felt like, wow, first of all, we're even noticed when we're in town. And people truly caring um, uh, about what was going on. And certainly there was no uh, sort of the money goal. It's become so money-oriented now. Everything life has. Um, so businesses, you'd go and Margarita Howe had a little uh, uh, gift shop on, on Queen Street. And you'd just go and sit and chat and... So the pace was different. I don't know how we ever survived back then because we just got things done instead of working everything to a schedule. So, um, But certainly in the early days, it was just low-key. You could you could have, if somebody had thought about it, could, could have bought the whole main street for not very much money. And I remember Jerry at one point, in as Lord Mayor, uh, there was a little piece in the paper, if you have any spare vehicles, please park them on Queen Street uh, to make us look busier.